Hey guys, we're going to be jamming on Here Come the Meter Men today by The Meters. The guitarist is Leo Notrontelli and it's super funky, so let's check it out. Hey guys, we've got this super cool riff by Leo Notrontelli today. So the basic idea of this riff is kind of B flat, F, C, okay, with the funky riffs in between. And then we're just going to go F, E flat, C. Okay, so we're in the key of C. So obviously he's not using these big clunky chords like this. So let's check it out and have a little look at the riff, okay? So the first time round we get the the opening riff is this. Okay, so it's just a pentatonic riff resolving to the roots. So we're gonna go play a G, fret three on the low E string, fret five A on the low E string as well, up to C fret 3 on the A string, and then we're going to go back to the A and back to the C. So 3, 5, 3, 5, 3. Okay, and then the first time we're going to go... So. So. And the first time we're going to play this, so we're going to play... So instead of playing these thick, clunky chords like this, okay, we're going to actually play them like this. So we're going to play the B flat like this, fret three, barred across the D, G, and B strings. So that's obviously based around this shape. And then we're going to go to this chord, which is essentially just an F major C voicing. Okay, so we've got fret seven, fret five, fret six on the D, G, and B strings. And that resolves beautifully to the C major here, okay, which we've got fret five on the D, G, and B string. So three, jump up to this, okay, seven, five, six, and take these fingers off to resolve to fret five. Okay, so that's the first chunk of the riff. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're kind of palm muting a little bit when you're playing the Okay, when you're playing that part of the riff so it gets a nice kind of tight percussive sound. So, the second half of the riff, the, the, the staccato notes change slightly. So instead of being, okay, the rhythm changes to, so instead of being double double da, straight through eighth notes, it's actually you've got a little rest in there and one less note, finishing on the C. Okay, so this time, the riff, we're gonna play this chord that we played earlier, seven, five, six on the D, G, and B strings, which is the F chord. And this time, we're gonna take it back two frets, which is basically an E flat chord. And then this also resolves really nicely back to fret five, which is our C major, fret five, barred across the D, G, and B strings. So it's all takes part on this D, G, and B strings. Okay, so this time, you can either resolve with your first finger, or you can resolve with your third finger. It doesn't really matter. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Or we could go. Doesn't really matter, okay? So what is important is that the riff varies from the first time going, and then the second time it goes. So that's the important difference between the first part of the riff, and obviously the chords are different, and the second time. Okay, so there's subtle difference in the riff there. So the tune then takes the whole riff and just jumps it up a tone, okay? So we're basically just gonna play the same thing, but we're gonna go up two frets. So we're going into D major now, okay? So we literally just play the same riff, 
So but this type's probably five seven five seven five. Okay, and this time we go fret five, and then we're gonna jump up this time to nine, seven, and eight, and then resolve to the D major, cross fret seven, 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 seven on the D, G, and B strings. And again, Exactly the same, we change the riff very slightly, change the timing the second time round. Okay, so we've got same notes essentially. And then this time we play 9, 7, 8, which was our, this time is a G chord. Then back two frets to fret 7, 5 and 6, which is, our, is like an F chord, okay, an F triad. And then resolve it to fret 7 across the D, G and B strings again, which is our D chord. So first time. Second time, slight variation. Variation. Then we go back, so back to the original key. Okay, super cool riff. So the main things to really work on is going from the funky staccato picking, I'll make sure it's kind of nice and muted, and into these funky rhythm chords, okay? These little triads. So these are just a case of keeping it nice and controlled, really. These are all kind of shapes that you probably come across before. I mean, this is kind of standard, like, kind of Keith Richards territory almost, okay? So really the thing to work on is getting those staccato funky riffs into the chords and kind of keep the funky feel and groove going, okay? So just make sure you get the variations right between the two patterns as well. So the first time and the second time. So little subtle differences and obviously make sure the chords that follow them are correct as well. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson guys, hit subscribe if you haven't done it already and if you've got any requests for songs, tutorials, techniques, anything of that kind, hit me up with some suggestions in the comments and I'll check them out.